Very pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Badgers now, Paul Christ. Coach, thanks so much for taking the time out. I obviously want to talk to you a bit about the COVID outbreak with your team and just kind of update people on where things stand. First off, your health, that you were uh, positive for COVID. Give us a sense of how you're doing, what your battle was like, and, and how you're feeling now. Yeah, no, thanks. And uh, I'm doing well and uh, really didn't really have many symptoms at all, if any. So, um, you know, relatively speaking for me, it, it was uh, more just not being able to be around uh, everyone and, and kind of just going through as a team what we we're going through. But personally, I didn't have um, hardly any symptoms at all. And, you know, across the board, you know, those that were, you know, infected, you know, kind of a, no one with really uh, anything serious or anything that's continuing on, but I think we kind of had the, the gamut of some, some guys kind of getting, experiencing a, some of the symptoms. But all in all, uh, doing well and guys have come out of it, so we're grateful for that. Give us a sense of availability of players this week. Uh, obviously, the Big Ten does have that 21-day rule how many players do you believe will be impacted by that for this game against Michigan? Yeah, we'll have a, we'll certainly have a number. And, and honestly, I, I don't know what that exact number is. And, and um, kind of the way it hit the, the team, it was, I think every position group has been affected by it. But at the same time, you know, it wasn't just one or the other. So, um, you know, we've got, uh, a good amount of depth or, or enough players at, at each position. So in that way, you know, feel, uh, feel fortunate, but um, we've got a, a few guys that will be uh, finishing up and, and kind of on the tail end right now of the 21 days. And then uh, I'm not sure exactly. Like I said with the number it's, it's, it's double digits that uh, we won't have available for a little bit. Uh, one player who we know would be eligible to play is Graham Mertz. You had said earlier in the week that you were going to kind of gauge it based on how he progressed in his return to practice. What can you tell us about how Graham has looked and your sense of his availability for this week? Yeah, we've, I think there's about uh, three, maybe four guys uh, kind of with a similar timetable as, as Graham. And, and so part of the 21 days is they – can come back in, in kind of a progression of, of return to practice. And so uh, I think there's three, maybe four of those, and then they've been able to get uh, some stuff done. So I, I, I'm hopeful that we'll have uh, that group, Graham included, uh, that will be available. Overall, what do you think the impact of shutting down for a couple of weeks has been on your team? You know, it's um, – honestly, Dave, I don't know uh, – Exactly right. You know, I, I am. I appreciate the way that, that everyone kind of uh, dealt with it and uh, kind of stayed focused on the you know what's the task at hand and and I think when we did shut down, I don't know that we understood or knew exactly how long it would be. Obviously, the first day or first time we shut it down, we knew we'd be missing uh, one game, and then we were hopeful to for it just to be that and, and then kind of the way things progressed. Um, certainly missed some time on the field and it's been good getting back with the guys and, and getting to be able to practice again. As a coach, you, you know, you want to see where you're at execution wise and, and even just guys, their conditioning. But all in all, I give our, our players credit. You know, they, they did most they could do, the best they could do uh, when we were off and, and shut down and, and so Taking it on the field, you guys were so impressive in the opener against Illinois, really both sides of the ball. What were your biggest takeaways after watching your team in the opener? You know, it was – the biggest thing was it was fun just to get back to playing. And and I know it was a different atmosphere, certainly. And But but if, you know, even just listening to our guys and, and hearing them talk, you know, it felt like a game. And, and anytime you get a chance to go out and compete – it, you're always grateful for that, and and, uh, and I thought we I thought we did some good things. Like any any time you play the game, and particularly in a first game, there's going to be a number of different areas that you want to clean up, you want to improve upon, and, and you know I thought there's some things that we did well that that you want to build on, and so you kind of feel like you're 
not necessarily starting over, but you're, you're starting from scratch a little bit. Moving ahead to Michigan, they are one and two. They are reeling a little bit. What do you see when you watch them on tape? Well, I think, you know, I don't know, Dave, as far as kind of their mindset, right? And I don't think you ever know another team, but when you when you watch them, and certainly we've gone up and played against them a number of times, the quarterback is very talented, and they've, they've got good running backs. They've got good skill position. You know, the, the way their offense is, you, you have to defend a lot of the field. You know, that's, to me, where the challenges are, and, and certainly – what they do defensively, schematically, puts a lot, can put a lot of stress on you. And you've got to, you've got to play really aware. The head coach of the Badgers, Paul Christ. Coach, good to see you back. Good to see your team back. I know everyone in the Big Ten is excited to have the Badgers back on the field this week. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Howard, what stood out there listening to Paul Christ? Uh, the fact that he.